The Pull Chop by Kuhn Recon. This one, though, obviously is one of the most popular things that we have here at QVC. If this one is customer top rated, all five star reviews, because from popular demand, we are bringing you the regular pull and chop, but with an extra container and storage lid. So now prepping in the kitchen is going to be so easy. Whatever you want to chop, you're going to be able to do it with this, not have to get your hands dirty, and to do it so much quicker. Feature price of $31.80, five easy payments of $6.36. So good. Five, four colors. This one right here is the aqua. We also have the lime. Here's the red. And we've got the gray option for you. There's the gray. All right. Expiring price. The price goes up at the end of the day. Don't miss it. Mark Charles Massilli, come on back into the show. And Mark Charles, this is this one seems like it's even a little bit bigger capacity than the uh, traditional. Is it or it's the same one? It's the same one. No, it's actually a half cup bigger. So it's it, the, a little half cup. But what's really unique is the double double container. Yeah. We don't. I did it once a long, long time ago. Everybody said, well, I prep. How can I have another one so I could do something else while and keep this in there? So you have two identical bowls you get. You get a storage lid, and that's important because the storage lid fits on both. The mechanism fits on both, and the blade fits on both. So you get this whole setup so you can do double the prep now. So let's put it to work. So in the first one, again, the secret is the two Japanese blades and the scraper blade on top. You always put the blade in first. You put your fruit, vegetables, or whatever, and you pull. The, the more you pull, the finer the chop. So one, two, three. If you were doing a pie, and Tina Verley would tell you this, that's a great pie filling. That's only three pulls, right? But I'm gonna do a little compote for the top of my dessert. So the more you pull, the finer the chop. This becomes a compote that is equivalent to something like a jelly or a jam, and I didn't use any preservatives, any salt or sugars or anything. Look at this, guys. This is now a compote covering with just pure mm. pulverized berries. And mm -hmm. this could be baby food or whatever. So now, look, I only use this much. Here's the, here's the little tip, right? I want to save it. I didn't use all of it. Maybe dessert tomorrow. Take that storage lid and now put this in the fridge. Now, here's my other container. I'm going to just take this. I'm going to just wipe it real clean. Obviously, you want to you know clean it for between, but I could do this real quick. And now I want some nuts for my dessert. Put that in there. Let me wipe this clean too, just so it's got a nice clean surface. Again, you're gonna wanna wash this with soap and water, but I'm just doing it for demo purposes. So this is the whole set I'm using, and the blade and the um, container are the same. I just pulverize these in seconds. Look at that, with the same blade mm -hmm. and container. And now I have nuts and berries that I did in seconds for my bought dessert. So you could buy the dessert at the store, cheat that way, but have nuts and berries to put on pulverized in there. Isn't that great? It is. It's just a smart system. It is. I love that we have the two containers now, and it is just that easy. The stainless steel blades, that that's the whole entire enchilada right there are these blades yep. that you can move from one of the containers to the other, and it's just so easy. And it really is, like, if it's nothing to do this pull right here. And I love it. So last week, you know, was a foodie fest, right, mm -hmm. um, Rosina? And I had a lot of people come up and I had the pull chop with me. And I had a lot of people say to me, oh, I've always seen you on air with it. And I didn't think I had the strength for it, which is why I didn't buy it. So at the foodie fest, I had walnuts. And I said, walnuts, you know, whole walnuts, you know, those are tough. And I had people try it. I said, I'm she's like, I'm going to do it live. And, and by the way, they had bags in their hands. One of them was a little bit older. I go, trust me, let the machine do the work. Each one of them was like, Oh, I didn't realize I didn't need strength for it. I didn't realize I needed leverage. It literally does all the work for you. So trust in this product because it really will be a game changer. And my other favorite thing, Rosina, that happened was I had five different husbands come up to me and say, well, my wife bought this thing for the kitchen. But by the way, I use it every day and I love it. I was like this, yes. Well, that's the, that's the trick. That's the thing. You bring something right? home, you're like, well, what is that? Wait a minute. Wait till you try it. And Correct. then it's like, change it. Again, I always say this, it changes your life because these are those types of life. things that really, now you're not you're not chopping that garlic that you, I love Correct. when you show us that, the garlic. But let's see what you're doing right now. Again, I do carrots because of how tough they are. Look at this, look at the carrots. In a matter of seconds, remember, the more you pull, 
the denser the chop. Look at that, guys. Wow. That's like grater, like an electric grater. Wow. No batteries. I didn't plug anything in. For Rosina, she wants to see the garlic, right? So I want to do something also. I'm actually going to take some cloves out yeah. just to show you that it doesn't have to be loaded in. So I have half the quantity that we put in here, right? Just to show you what happens, if you look at this, it starts kicking up. See the way it bounces up? So it all of the garlic cloves go into the blades. That's the technology behind this. If I keep doing this, now watch this. Look how beautiful that is. All the garlic, none of the fumes. And then if I'm gonna take the same blade, and this is really important, shallots and onions. You don't want the tears, right? But this mechanism keeps all of the fumes inside. So I'm able to chop these onions, red onions, which you know are fierce to your eyes, right? And look at that. All done, no tears. I'm telling you right now, just right. for that and the garlic, this is worth it, all right? Because it, it's amazing. And then Listen you can make her. a lot. <laughs> and you can put, you can now put the top on it and save it for the whole week. You could do one batch of garlic that you're going to use probably every single day, or we do at least at home, and now you have that batch freshly made. That's so, so good, and you're not making you're not making a mess out of your hands with it. So here are your color choices. The aqua, and you're getting everything that you see right here, including the extra storage container or the extra container to make something else in. You have the lime. You have the red. Red's been most popular in the show, of course it has. And finally, we have the gray. Um, I think it's so smart. Oh, the, the containers are dishwasher safe, but the blades, yep. we just wanna, um, you know, rinse them off. Well, can I, can I just clarify one thing, Rosina? Yeah. You can put the blades in the dishwasher. It's the lid that's got the pull chain, the pull cord. You wanna just hand wash that. My little tip about the blades, if you're gonna put them in the dishwasher, a lot of dishwashers have that little cage that people usually put pacifiers in to clean and sanitize. It's got a little cover in it. Just because the blades are so sharp, that's what I recommend if you're gonna put it in the dishwasher because you don't want anybody grabbing inside the dishwasher the blades. So put them in that little cage that you have for like the pacifiers, right? Smart. So again, remember, you get that cover, it works on either one. So I did the carrots beautifully. Now, yeah. the, I got to prep and put this in the fridge for the night before. Uh -huh. Here's the blade, I moved it over in the gray one. Yeah. I'm gonna fill it up with with um, a celery. And what's important about the celery, why we do the celery demo, is the strings. Celery's really stringy. Did you see the way it was tough at first? What that meant was there was a piece of celery in one of the blades. You just keep pulling it, you will not break the product, I promise you. It's that durable, that strong. You see it move around. Mm -hmm. And if you did this the night before and you were doing a soup or a stew, look at this. Both of these done, and you can store them up ready for your soup and stew all, I mean, it, seconds. You're ready doing something that a machine would and take. Stew. It's amazing. It's really, really amazing. I, I super, super love this product, and I think it's a must-have. And I promise you, anybody who's gotten in their home, they didn't realize they needed. What? Wait, where did you come from? <laughs> Holy crap! Oh I've been here the whole time. That was so funny. <laughs> oh my! It's been that me just the whole time. He grabbed his <laughs> chest. <laughs> I, I thought think. we went to film. I actually thought we went to film. I'm like, oh, Rosita's out. She's just, we, we went they to film. They froze. Hate. It's amazing. <laughs> that was so cute. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Listen, I we're getting ready for this like... big live audience show. I just wanted to call and say I love, or call, come in and say that how much I love you both. We love you, Mary. We love you, too. I hope you have a great show. Thank you. Yes, Thank we you. can't wait. The live studio audience show with, with Kim Gravel. It's going to be a celebration. It sure is. Yeah. Four o'clock. And, 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 don't, and don't freak your audience out like you just freaked me out, Mary, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. Could you it's not it's such again? bad behavior. My is heart. This, I've never I'm seen old. this before. Is this how it works? Uh, yeah, yeah. Is that how it works? Uh -huh. <laughs> You're all right. I don't okay. know. I, she, she needs some more training, Mark Charles. <laughs> What? I, I'm still, my heart's still going like this. I swear to God, I just was totally, so I was totally taken aback. Jonathan so said sorry. nothing to me in my ear, by oh, the way. Man. That is the whole point. And everybody yeah. at home, Yeah, you too. got me. You, you got know, me. we're missing Mary, but we're gonna, not going to miss her at 4 o'clock right now. So. so grateful for you. I mean, I, I put in for vacation for um, our son got promoted. He's a captain now in the Yay! Air Force. Yay! Um, and his wife was promoted also. But then we have the live audience show, and then I took Father's Day off to celebrate Mr. D. And so the way it worked out, I haven't been on In the Kitchen with Mary and I've been like, I love you guys, I'm so sorry, but thank you, so you're doing such a good, I-T-K-W-R. Yeah. Come on. All right. Well, that's because you have been helping me for these last two years. I learned the, all, everything from her. Aww. And a MC, I miss you. I love you. I miss you, friend. But I got to tell you, 
Rosina's doing an awesome job in your absence. Just saying, I know. Saying, we're, we're having good times without you. I hate saying <laughs> we're that. We're having a good are. times. We're having a good time. <laughs> thank so you, Mike Charles. We love you too. Thanks, friends. Uh, thank you, love Mary. You guys. So you were my co-host the whole entire show. So thank you so love much. You. Love you. <laughs> See you soon. See you mañana, I think. Ooh. Oh, we're just gonna. Okay, we're, all right. So aqua, lime, red, and okay. green. So thank Ooh. you uh, so much. And an extra bowl. I like this that. This is the one with the extra bowl and Ooh, the top. I like that. So so good. Oh well, we're gonna keep. Yeah. Going. Let's... Oh, speaking of Kim Gravel, look at my outfit. Hi, Nancy. He look at my <laughs> outfit right here.